Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. The weather today is not too flash. Bands of rain coming in and out. It's uh, it's not it's not the greatest. I've got an urge to shoot some film again today, and we're going to go with the Voigtlander Besser 2, six by nine folding camera from the 1950s. A little bit difficult to use in that the viewfinder is so small, so it's, it's quite hard to get your compositions right, and it's it's quite hard to get the focus right. It's something you've really got to work at. But when you do work at it, you can get some beautiful shots. I'm just driving out to my storage shed where I keep my cameras. So I'll, uh, I'll pick the camera up from there and make a decision which film I'm going to shoot at the time. I've, I've no idea what I'm going to go for. Definitely going to be black and white. I'll see what I've got in my container, see what films we've got. I was watching a video the other day by famous, uh, by famous YouTube photographer or famous photographer and YouTuber, whichever way you want to put it, Thomas Heaton. He's just bought himself a Hasselblad X-Pan 2 which shoots 35mm panoramic photographs and, it, and it, it's beautiful so I was kind of looking at that thinking shit that'd be nice that'd be nice then I thought whoa slow the horses boy slow the horses why not try the Voigtlander 6x9 shoot your images a little bit wider crop the top crop the bottom and give myself a nice panoramic image so I'm going to give that a nudge that's, so that's the plan today load up with film head down to a local beach which is about another another 40 minutes drive away so we'll see what the weather's going to be like when we get down there and we'll shoot some panoramic photographs now with a roll of 120 film on 6x9 format it will only give me eight frames so we're going to make eight hopefully beautiful panoramic photographs let's give it a go guys come on come on it is so big guys at the world cup and you can barely keep up it's just awesome it's action-packed they're real people and they are the nation's team at this point in time and that's seen through the match being sold out and it's such a shame that there's not fan zones that we saw during the 2011 rugby world wow. cup here after about an hour's drive from base in which the weather brightened up and it was absolutely beautiful we arrived at the longest place name in the world and what better subjects to start with a panoramic image look how long that is that's a beauty right should we try and say that then Tau mata faka, tangi hanga, kau au au, tamatia, turi puka, kapi ki monga, horo nuku, pokai, fenua, akiti an, atau hu. <laughs> yeah, not exactly fluent. That's probably me speaking normally, actually. Pi ki monga, horo nuku. Pokoai Fenua Akitia Akitiana Tahu. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting closer. Tau Matafaka Tangi Hanga Kau Au Au Tamatia Turipoka Kapiki Monga Horo Nuku Pokoai Fenua Akitiana Tahu. Cop for that. I don't know. Let's uh, get some film in the camera. Crack on. So here she is, the beautiful Voigtlander Besser 2. And she is a little diamond. So you open it from under here. It's been a while since I've used this beast. There she is, look at that. Color Hilliar 105mm f3.5 lens. Flick open the back, like so. Foma pan ISO 100, 120 roll film. The only reason I'm going with this film today is because I love that colour box. I mean, how funky is that? And I am aware that I'm saying funky far too much. We're going to try and stop that. Familiarising myself again. So you just pop that up there. Pop that in there. And that should be locked in. Slip the leader into one of those little slots there. Give it a bit of a spin. Until it catches hold. Keeping it between the two rails there. And away we go. Just open up this little window. This is the little bit I'm always a bit dubious about because if you wind too fast, you kind of miss one or two frames, which is not ideal. Right, here we go. We've got some arrows coming through. So we know we're getting close. 
circles, smaller circles, tiny circles, tiny tiny circles, midget circles. Number one, <laughs> we've done it. All right, close, close that little slot there, and that protects it from any light leaks. We are now ready, guys, to take the Voigtlander Besser 2 out for a first shot today. Cannot wait. Look at that. It's Beautiful piece of engineering. Love it. Okay, so we're about ready for the first shot. Film's loaded. Sunlight's out. It's looking pretty beautiful out here. Just got to decide which way to shoot this from. Probably this this angle, I reckon. We're going to go with ISO 100, which is box speed. Beautiful. Taumata Faka Tangi Hanger Ko Ao Ao Tamatia Turi Puka Kapiki Manga Horonuku Pokawai Fenua Akitiana Tahu. Cut for that. Cut for that. What does it mean? Well, we had a little bit of light, but that's long gone by the looks of it. She's pretty much greyed out now. A little bit of blow over there. So I'm thinking, straight away, behind those trees there, that's where I'm parked for the night. A lot of space at the top, a lot of space at the bottom. And I can cut that into a nice panorama. Shot number two coming up. Really is a gorgeous camera to use this thing. Let's just take a look at the light first. 5.6, 250th ISO 100. I've got a little flare hood here that came with a Besser. So I'll just slip this on. Doesn't really need it, but it looks cool. Let's just cock the shutter. This shutter release on the Besser is on the side here. Let's just see if we can get a bit of a close up there for you. There you go. So that's just on the Besser there. And you just pull that down and that's your shot. Shot number two in the bag. Beautiful. Just take the flare hood off. Close the camera up. Wind on. Once you get into the habit of what you're doing, it becomes kind of second nature. Shot number three. Close the back door. Look for a third shot. This is going well. This is going pretty well. Okay, I'm thinking the next shot is going to be this sand dune. Right there in front. Pretty moody skies behind. Shame we've got no light on the foreground. When you open these folders, open them quite carefully. Don't let the door spring open because it will create a vacuum inside and it will mess about with the film plane at the back. So uh, nice and steadily open it. So what did we say? We said 5.6, 125. We don't have a 125 on this. We have a 1. 100 then it goes straight to 250th so I'm going to shoot it near enough 100 just past the 100 mark that should be pretty cool let's have a look that's pretty nice actually there's no verticals to line up trying to make it as best you can and the strange thing is the more you look through this viewfinder the harder things are to see take the camera away from your eye for a little bit let things calm down back up to the eye try and find something that will align right we've got something there it's probably land on the infinity mark anyway because it's quite a way away set the shutter beautiful open the film counter window wind on to frame number four and like i say it does seem a little bit slow and a little bit tedious once you get a system going seamless easy and it's fun it's fun it's getting cold as well actually now i'm just scouting around for something another june something that's going to stand out quite nice against that backdrop not from that tree but maybe just there June in the foreground there that secondary June there that line of trees where my van's parked we'll use that we've got a moody as hell sky I'm liking that a Sikonic flash mate L308B beautiful little uh, light meter I've had this about best part of 25-30 years lovely little bit of kit Beautiful. All right, another one in the bag. Winding on to frame number five. Remembering that we've only got eight frames on this roll of film. So we're cracking on, we're doing well, we're doing well. I might get this done before that rain comes. I'm gonna try this shot. We've got some beautiful layers there. Sand, dunes, dark pine trees. I believe the pine trees in the background there. And then above it, moody sky with a streak of lighter cloud. I'm gonna get this quick because it's moving quite fast. 
and that, that light cloud is dissipating as I speak. So I don't think I want to get it, unfortunately. I'm going to try. Nah, it's just about gone. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. But the idea was there. That's a shame. It looked quite effective, that. But unfortunately, I've missed it. If I got a digital out, smash it with a digital, job done. But got to be a bit slower, a bit more precise with these old cameras. And unfortunately, I failed. We'll see how that develops, actually, because... I don't know. Certainly looking pretty moody, is that? That's going to catch us, I reckon. That's probably going to catch us, probably going to soak me, is that thing. How fast is that moving? Look at that go. Bloody hell. All right. Looks like we've got some lighter cloud opening up again there. So let's just give that a nudge. I'm going to leave the focus set to infinity. And we'll just see how that works out. It's looking pretty cool, actually. I like it. Beautiful. That's quite nice actually, it's letting up quite well. We've got the sand, we've got the sand dunes, we've got the trees, we've got the lighter cloud, we've got the darker cloud, and we've got the lighter cloud above it. Don't know if that's going to cut into a panoramic, but it's going to make a nice shot anyway. All right, let me wind on to number frame number frame number six. I've got the Leica Q in the bag, and I love the way that cloud's going. So I'm going to make sure I get a shot in the bag looks cool as frig man why am i pissing about with frigging film oh mate that is gorgeous 28 millimeter lens let's just go a little bit lower there let's, let's go 2.8 that is looking so good that is looking pretty cool actually i reckon there's some serious weather in there oh Storm front there yeah, look at that man that looks amazing let's just try let's try and get a shot real quick with a better I'm looking down let me just turn you around looking down the beach there I don't know if you can see that down the beach but that is looking good it's just starting to drop that lower cloud now so let's give it a go, real, real, real fast. That is looking pretty cool. There's nothing in the foreground of this shot, unfortunately. It's just a snapshot. That's just a, a quick film snapshot. That was frame number six. Frame number seven, prepared. I'm loving it. I'm loving it now. Another 10 minutes when it's pissing down on me. I might not be loving it. How cool is that looking? We're going to head into the sand dunes to try and make a couple of photographs because look at that storm front. How cool is that? That looks pretty intimidating. I just want to get a few sand dunes in there. She's looking pretty dull and pretty dark and pretty foreboding. That's a big word for me. And I think I can feel some rain actually. A few spits of rain coming on. Maybe. Oh, look at that, look at that. All right, pop me down a minute. A couple of shots with a Leica Q. Just so we get something. Oh, I think I can hear some thunder rumbling. I definitely feel some rain now. All right, I think uh, we're gonna beat a hasty retreat. Back to my brolly. And uh, to be fair, putting a brolly up in a thunderstorm is probably not a good idea if the thunderstorm materializes. It's certainly looking dark enough out there. I'm sure I can hear a few rumbles. Oh, here comes the rain. Whew! That temperature's dropped as well. Shit, that temperature has dropped. Alright, brolly time. Look at that, look over there. You can't see it because I'm trying to get the brolly up. But have a look at that. Have a look. Have a look over there. How cool is that? That's where that headland is. The mist cleared quite a lot. And it's just quite moody out there now. Again, let's try and make a quick shot. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That weather's here now. Shit. Hell yeah. The weather's here. Bloody hell. Man, it is wet. My brawl is buggered. I'm piss wet through. I'm hoping my cameras are dry. There's some serious, serious weather coming down. I can't even turn around to show you what I'm walking into. But let me assure you, it's no fun at all. Yes, man. The good news is, if we need a little bit of good news, there's no thunder yet. More importantly, there's no lightning. So uh, we might just get away with that. We're getting back to the van because it's uh, just had a few flashes of lightning, a few rumbles of thunder. And I think things are going to break down a little bit more actually. Thankfully the wind has died down. And that rain, that frigging rain, man, that came down so fast. Well, let me tell you, that was no fun, no fun at all. The first bit was okay, taking pictures. When that storm front came through, wow, incredible. You never know though, after storm comes good light, dramatic light. If it does, we're back out there. Not with a brolly, unfortunately, that's toast. The storm lasted about four or five hours. A few distant rumbles, a few flashes, a lot of rain. So I hunkered down in the van, did a bit of editing, then emerged just in time for sunset to an absolutely beautiful scene. Down on the beach there, it was gorgeous. The next morning, it's pretty clear. No sign of any storm, ocean, mist, bit of a sky going on. Let's see if we make a nice panorama out of that. Now we're just walking along the beautiful Tipairahi beach. I'm just waiting till the sun gets above that cloud line. Now I can get a shot round about there. Round about there I'm thinking. Got some nice reflections going on, but it just needs a bit of extra light. Primarily because my slow shutter speeds on the best of two are sticking. And uh, unfortunately, it's not going to work. I'm just going to get a, a little bit away from these waves. It's a little bit cold this morning, the toes, is it? Ah, oh, actually, no, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Beautiful morning. Beautiful. So that is frame number seven. I'm just going to wind on to frame number eight. I could be actually wrong. I must have already shot eight. All right. So that was the last. That was the last frame of the day, actually. I did think I had two frames left on there, but apparently only one. There you go. So that's it, guys. Eight frames. I'm pretty sure I've only shot seven, but I can't remember. Anyway. We're done, we're dusted, we're going to head back to the van, get this film developed, let's see what we've got. All the way back to the van, I thought I'd just knock out a couple of shots with the Leica Q. Had a nice little beach scene, nothing too spectacular, it looks quite nice.
function, 10 minutes. Thank you so much for sticking with this. I realize it's been quite a long rambling sort of a video. The first image I took with a Besser down at the longest place name in the world, that came out really well. We had some good sunlight on there, made for some nice sharp contrast. The rest of the image I took with a Besser that day during the build up to the storm, there wasn't much light. There wasn't much light at all. It was dull, it was flat. And I, and I think the, the images for me personally, they've come out quite muddy. One of the shots down the beach where the storm was coming down, that was out of focus. I, I kind of rushed that one because I was more interested really in getting a shot with the Leica to make sure that I got a photograph of that storm cloud. The shot this morning when I got up to get a photograph of the headland, that came out quite nice. Again, we had a lot of uh, good sunlight on there and a lot of good contrast and it came out quite nice. So all in all, I can't complain. I think it's, uh, it's, been, a quite, it's been quite an interesting little exercise. Have they come out as true panoramas? No, not a chance. They're quite passable though. I'm quite, uh, I'm quite encouraged by them. I don't think they'll rival an X-Pan. I've never tried the X-Pan. I've never used one. Never had a chance to use one. One day, one day. Never say never. Life is short and this world is insane. So uh, <laughs> never say never. X-Pan, watch out. I'm, I'm looking for one. I'm after one. Right, until next time guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>